Hi, and thanks for clicking on the SimCrest Product Configurator from Microsoft Dynamics NAV. The SimCrest Product Configurator comes in three different flavors, sales, assembly, and production. Depending upon how you want to utilize it, it comes with all three. You can either utilize the sales configurator to create a sales quote or order lines as a result of the configuration, and you can also go from the sales configurator to an actual assembly bomb. Or you can start off with the production configurator, and the production configurator is going to create a production order from a line in the sales order. You'll have several choices when creating the production order, planned, firm planned, or released. This solution is fully integrated and built entirely within Microsoft Dynamics NAV. It's a rules-based configurator, and it's going to assist your sales departments in configuring the right solution for your clients. All right, well, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV. Here, I'm running Dynamics Nav 2017, the on-premise version, obviously. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to look at the sales configurator for right now. Uh, then after that, we're going to look at a little bit of the setups so you can see how it works. And then we're going to go into the production configurator and you can see how that works. So uh, let's jump right into it and let's go into the sales invoices where we're going to do the sales configurator. And so we are going to create a new sales invoice, which is going to be for one of my favorite clients, Klubin. And so Klubin is going to be the client that we work with here. So go down here to the line. We're going to look at the functions, configurator, and you can see here that it only gives us the option for the sales configurator. And so we are going to bring up the actual configurator. This is what it looks like. This is where you're going to see the questions up here on the top left. You're going to see the answers down here in the middle section, and then you're going to see the result subform down here at the bottom. So what we're going to be doing, building today is a computer. And so you can see here, we've got a tower and a desktop as the two options right now. Uh, it defaults into the, uh, the quantity or the, as well as the item that you want to choose. Uh, you can obviously change that if you need to. Uh, we'll get into that in the settings in just a little bit. So we're going to build this computer. We're going to start with a tower. It's going to give us the options of the Pentiums that we want to use in this cabinet and so in this computer. And it's going to give us the default answers. We're going to click through here and look at the RAM and then get to the controllers. So you can either use the IDE or the SCSI. And here's where the triggers um, take place in this rules-based configurator. The rules are going to tell you which questions should be answered, which uh, answers are available to you know questions after you have answered specific questions and so that you can understand you know which available is which is available so you don't put three wheels on a bike and things like that uh, so the IDE controller is what we're going to choose here and so it's going to give us the options of the IDE disks however if we went and chose the SCSI disk you would actually see the SCSI controllers that are available so that's where the triggers come into play to give you those types of options. Let's go ahead and click through here until we get to the end. I'm gonna just do all the little default selections and then we're gonna name our computer, which is gonna be John's computer. We're gonna finish this off right here and you can see it's gonna ask if we want to create a production bill of materials or we wanna create an assembly bill of materials. We're going to not do either one of those. We're just going to click no. And as you can see here, it's going to explode those answers down here onto the sales invoice. So that you can see the uh, items that are uh, going to be added to this computer. And then you can see this total price. So that's the sales configurator. All right, let's jump into the setup of the configurator. What I've done here is I've brought in the configurator setup. As you can see up here in the top left, there is a, you can either update the sales or the production. You can uh, have the early close action with a prompt. You can create the bomb from the sales configurator, default item numbers, uh, same with the production. You know, you've got all of those options as well. Uh, over here on the right, what we're going to look at is the actual questions. This is where the heart and potatoes of the uh, configurator lies in the rules and the setups and so think of it like a tree here we have the questions and these questions all answered uh, are all asked in a specific order based upon you know what we've decided as a, as a good order and so you can see here here's the select the cabinet here's the processor the RAM here's the hard disk the SCSI disk and so here's where we talked about the the triggers happening to answer questions or to you know, bring questions uh, that are relevant to the answers that you've previously posted so the SCSI disk, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the card here. And so here's the 
answer card for the SCSI disk. As you can see here, it gives you the options of the descriptions, what level is it going to be, is there going to be no answer allowed, unique answer, is it going to uh, text answer only, and then we're going to look at the, the schedule direction, the routing bombs. So, and here are the answers over here on the uh, uh, down at the bottom, the possible answer subforms. And you can see here we've got the 36 uh, gig SCSI disk as the default. But here is the trigger up here for this question to ensure that if you ask an answer, what kind of disk are you going to use, a SCSI disk, that you are going to uh, you know, answer SCSI disk that this question will arise. Okay, now let's take a look at the production configurator. So we're going to go in here to the sales orders. We're going to create a new one. And again, we're going to go to my favorite client, Kalubin. We are going to go down and create a line item for an item of a bicycle. And so this bicycle, we're going to give it a quantity of one. And once we do that, we, it's going to come up and say, we need to check availability. Do you want to continue? Uh, yes, we do want to continue because we are going to be building it. We then go down to the l function and we're going to go to configurator. And now you can see we've got the sales and the production. And so the, we're going to go to the production configurator and it's going to ask us if we want to make a firm planned, planned, simulated or released. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to do a firm planned order. And from here, it's going to bring up that configurator that you uh, saw earlier. And it's going to ask us to load the default bill of materials. So from there, it's going to ask us the questions. You know, what's the style that we want? Do we want a red, black, silver, uh, 23 wheels, saddles, no saddles, mud guards? Uh, do you want handlebars? You probably want handlebars on this bicycle. Uh, from there, it's going to say, okay, here's the total amount that you're going to be built. Uh, building this bicycle for. It's probably a pretty nice bike. So from there, we're going to finish that and it's going to create a firm planned production order 101013. So we can go in, click OK. We're going to get out of this sales order and we're going to go into the firm planned orders. And you can see that the firm plan production order is right here in the manufacturing for you to be able to uh, build this bicycle. Thank you for joining us. As always, please don't forget to click below on the subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter and find us on LinkedIn. Give us a call. Go to our website. Shoot us an email. Check out our blog. Do whatever you want. Just contact us. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks again.